it just might spoil Watford's big day. League leaders, favourites to win their 14th championship and defending an unbeaten record at Anfield, which stretches back nine months. Liverpool forced to make a change today. Mark Lawrenson is injured and is replaced by Ronnie Whelan, who returns after missing seven games with a knee problem. The Watford team, which has done so well in its first season of First Division football, though with a style of play which has attracted many critics. It's their usual lineup, but there is a new name at number 12. Richard Jobson, just 19, and signed from non-league Burton Albion only six weeks ago. Referee Bert Newsom satisfied with the Anfield pitch, even though heavy rain this week caused a midweek reserve game to be abandoned. And the heavy conditions may well suit Watford's long ball style as Liverpool in the red shirts attacking the goal to our right get us underway. Watford in a change strip of white shirts and an early moment of anxiety for Ian Bolton. But allowing the ball to pass safely behind for a goal kick. Big and noisy crowd. Liverpool confident of one of their biggest gates of the season. Thompson beating Jenkins. Bolton again for Watford. And Thompson once again in before the visiting number nine. Here's Dalgleish. Jacket working back so well to deny him. Another up and under by Sherwood. Soon as came out with the ball so brilliantly. Lee. Dalglish. Lee again. Whelan in a good position here. Spotted by Dalglish. And on for Johnston. Superb move. Can he finish? Good save by Sherwood. A typical flowing Liverpool movement. Three players involved. And the final superb through ball saw Johnston denied by the goalkeeper. So a corner it is. Dalglish making room for himself so well. Johnston takes over. Goal kick. Craig Johnston, a lively handful for any defence, as he has proved in the final uh, 30 seconds of that movement. Callahan. Kennedy's clearance. Watford's throw. Alan Kennedy. Soon as for Liverpool. Whelan. Comes again to Whelan. Dalglish with Kennedy on the outside, but he goes alone. Tremendous effort by Dalglish. Chose to cut in field rather than find Alan Kennedy. And the right foot shot only just wide. And Elton John and Graham Taylor, chairman and manager, enjoying, I'm sure this great occasion Hansen's header Dalglish we have to go alone here but Lee arrives in support Sunis a sweetly struck shot by Graham Sunis Lee feeding him from the inside right position and he met it first time the ball swinging just wide and Sherwood relieved Sammy Lee with the ideal through ball Thompson Hansen Dalglish this is Johnston and that was Rice Neil's clearance to Dalglish beautiful turn oh and on for Rush got a perfect through ball 
Dalglish celebrates the goal, but Kenny Dalglish, the creator supreme. He turned away from the defender and fed the perfect through ball. Ian Rush smacked home his 16th goal of the season. The Cops celebrate the scoreline. 22 minutes gone, Liverpool 1, Watford 0. Dalglish and Rush do it again. Beautifully simple goal that Watford themselves will have appreciated. Rush, a lethal finisher, and Dalglish, a positive playmaker then. So now Watford's supreme moment has turned into their supreme test. And here's Taylor. Good effort. Taylor spotting Grobelar slightly off his line, perhaps. Trying that long-range shot, just over. Rice. Callahan. Straight to Kennedy. A good ball for Rush. Sunas. Dalglish. The names just roll off the tongue, really, as Liverpool flow forward again Kennedy Johnston good interception by Jacket Jenkins Anderson right behind him and the free kick in fact given for Jenkins leaning into the Liverpool player Whelan now Sunnis Very sloppy ball by Sunas. Kennedy beating Blissett. And it went off the Watford player, so it's Liverpool's throw. Dalglish turned away. Rush helped him, and a lovely return ball as the one-two worked again. Penalty. It had to be. Rush and Dalglish combining superbly again. This time it was Rush who played the through ball. And as Dalglish set off the goal, the trip was quite clear, quite blatant, and referee Newsom had no doubts about the award of a penalty. So Phil Neal, who has already scored twice from the spot this season, will test Steve Sherwood to the full. Slippy goal mouth, of course, which won't help Neil. Or Sherwood, for that matter. 2-0. 34 minutes gone, and a sweetly struck right foot penalty by Phil Neal extends the Liverpool lead, and it's worth noting that very, very few teams over the years have been two down at Anfield and come back to win or even salvage a point. Liverpool 2, Watford 0. Not at all the first half that Watford had dreamed of. Bolton's clearance. Neil headed it on. Jenkins. Straight to Sunes though. Barnes leaving it, and that was a mistake. Rush. Brought down right in front of the referee by Sims. Really enjoying the taunts of the cop, and certainly not enjoying the scoreline by the looks of it. Lee, Sunas, Dalglish, brilliant, and so close to a second goal for Phil Neal. The speed and accuracy of Liverpool summed up in that movement. The final through ball played by Dalglish, Neal was a foot away from scoring again.
Hansen winning it. This is Rice. Sunes. Oh, beautiful stuff. Lee. Dalglish. Neil. Watford have no answer at the moment. Dalglish left it. Got it back again. And another good ball to Sunes. And here's Rush. Whelan with the shot. Now Kennedy. Oh, Rush. Well, like Neil earlier, Ian Rush was about a foot away from stabbing the ball home. It went off a Watford player. And Liverpool have a corner. Lee with the kick. Whelan. Nearly an own goal by Rostrum. Liverpool players claiming that Rostrum handled the ball then. But I must say, it seemed to me anyway, that it went off uh, the uh, side of his body. But the referee, in consultation with the Liverpool players, has indeed given a penalty, it seems. Confusion amongst the players and the crowd. So, when that shot came in, Rostrum went for it. Did it hit the side of his body? Did it hit his hand? The referee says it hit his hand. So, Mr Newsom gives the second penalty of the first half, and Neil faces Sherwood again. And beats him again, in exactly the same spot. Two minutes to half-time, Phil Neal gets his second penalty of the game, and Will Frostrum, the unfortunate player, to concede it. Neil again striking it, right-footed, same side of the goal, Sherwood beaten again, Liverpool three, Watford nil. Well, Watford, I think, had no complaints about the first penalty. And it'll be interesting to see in slow motion just whether that second penalty was equally authentic. Goal kick. Seemed for a moment in that incident that Bert Newsom hadn't given the award. brings to an end an outstanding first half. Watford having no answer to Liverpool at their supreme best. Watford may argue Liverpool were lucky in that they had two penalties, both immaculately converted by Phil Neal before this man, Ian Rush, had given Liverpool a fine start with that early goal. Watford have got some hard talking to do in the dressing room at half-time, but they proved this season that they never finished. Liverpool 3, Watford 0. Paul Wilf Rostron, the Watford left back, who's conceded two penalties to give Watford what seems an impossible job in this second half. Watford really finding it difficult to play their normal game simply because they can't get the ball back off Liverpool often enough. So Watford attacking the cop end and needing really nothing short of a miracle to salvage something from this. Sunes, Whelan, and Callahan are judged to have come in a little bit late as he challenged Whelan then. Kennedy with the free kick. Dalglish, beaten by Sims. Callahan on, Blissett chasing, Hansen in first. from beating Rush. Offside had already been given, actually, for Kenny Dalglish having straight forward. We can't understand why, but uh, I think he was. Callahan won that. Jenkins, Taylor, and now Rice. Callahan's got away here, and plenty waiting for him in the middle. Jenkins! Oh, how did it stay out? Rostrum! And it goes in in the end, and who would deny Will Rostrum his celebrations? Having given away two penalties, I'm sure even Liverpool would have some sympathy and say if anybody deserved to get on the score sheet, it's him. 
he hit the left footed shot as Callaghan started the move way over on the right it may have gone in off another body on the way but surely we can say with Christmas coming up Wilf Rostrum deserves the credit for that goal 54 minutes gone then Liverpool 3 Watford 1 Will Frostron will feel a little bit better now about his visit to Anfield. And Watford now feel that they're back in the game to some extent. But Liverpool seem able to score almost at will sometimes. But the Watford fans are getting behind their team now. That goal's made a match of this. Rubble Art indulging in rather dangerous antics. Sims header, good one. Callahan on to Blissett. Getting the ball forward much quicker in the second half, Watford. And it's beginning to pay dividends. But Liverpool still so dangerous. Callahan though. He's onside. Taylor against Grubble Art. How well Grabelard did. He's made his mistakes in this game, the Liverpool goalkeeper, but the speed of his dash from his goal line then thwarted Taylor when a goal seemed a possibility. Liverpool defender full taps and injured. Looks as though there are problems here for Liverpool's Phil Thompson. And obviously uh, Bobby Robson will be anxious too. Thompson very much a part of England's plans for their match against Luxembourg. Let's hope that's not a serious injury. <laughs> Liverpool as yet not electing to use their substitute. Rush. Wheel and beaten by Callahan. Rice forward. Sims a good ball, Barnes. Into Blissett, Rubelar saves, and Blissett pokes the rebound wide, but it got a deflection off the goalkeeper, that's a corner. Sims with a glorious ball out to Barnes on the left. The cross was good, Blissett seemed to have beaten Rubelar, not once, but twice, but was denied. So Watford corner, the outcome. Jenkins getting up. Goal kick. Callahan. And Thompson has come back onto the field with heavy strapping around his right ankle. Long kick aimed this time at Blissett. Jenkins winning it. Here's Barnes. Clean across a virtually empty goal mouth. Thompson still struggling with that injury. And I don't think he'll be able to continue for much longer. Indeed, that's what he seems to be signalling to the Liverpool bench. So Thompson hobbles off, clearly in pain. And that's not only bad news for Liverpool, but also for England. So midway through the second half, old super sub himself, David Fairclough, comes on. And Liverpool will obviously play him forward with Sammy Lee slotting it at right back and Phil Neal in Thompson's position. And that, of course disrupting the Liverpool back four and giving Watford another faint hope that they could still get back into this game Sims Kennedy straight to Blissett Jenkins and Kennedy made up for his error Dalglish Looking straight to Callahan. 
Watford's growing belief in themselves, causing some problems now for Liverpool. Here's Barnes. Good effort against the bar. Barnes really coming into it in this second half. Took on the stand-in right-back Sammy Lee. Cut inside and hit the shot against the Liverpool crossbar. Rostrum. Liverpool marking tightly. Sammy Lee doing a good job as a stand-in number two. Here's Bolton. Shot at his own player then, I think. He can try again, can he? No, Kennedy! Really making grovel our stretch. It's as well Alan Kennedy didn't get any more weight behind that uh, back pass. Because grovel might have been struggling to reach it. He did well. Bob Paisley with a look of satisfaction with a minute remaining. His team surely on the way to another win. So Jacket with the long throw. Can Watford produce a goal yet? Lee clear. Rice under pressure from Rush. A Liverpool throw then, and they're well into time, added on for stoppages now. Berkhoff back. They couldn't uh, find Johnston, and that indeed is the final whistle. So Watford's first ever league visit to Anfield ends in defeat.